your topic now i i don't want you to take much time and i'm going to i'm going to help you create the most until and unless the devil comes again and and puts us out of zoom i'll do my best to to add maximum value to you how people can take good care of their health in today's time uh where is my stopwatch can you just quickly check here that's here so i'll give you 2 minutes for you to exactly speak okay uh because you're doing it the second time i think you can do better so your topic is how people can uh take good care of their health it's a spontaneous topic for you sujata the nutritionist okay. let's go for 2 minutes let's start so taking care of uh, health in today's time uh, uh, keeping covid in mind we'll have to consume a lot of uh, vitamin c for for the immune system we'll have to add some zinc and some vitamin d all these will add on to your health and then along with that you'll have to take uh, good exercise rigorous uh, cardio three times a day for uh, 80 90 minutes and then some weight training exercise that's to tone up your body and keep your self fit and then for mind you have to meditate for some time uh, just sit quiet for the rock tend to sing and sleep so that way you you'll keep your uh, mind healthy and you'll be able to you know take the stress because uh, given the scenario of due to covid people are losing their jobs and they are really finding it uh, uh, difficult uh your financial day so yeah so meditation will help you again consuming healthy food when and you'll and add a proper uh, uh, macronutrients and micronutrients in your diet uh again uh, uh using the home food sticking on to home food is always good so eat three meals a day uh, you don't have to you know skip meal if you're thinking that you'll be skipping meals and losing weight that's wrong you will be only uh, inviting the uh, diseases so have good clean home cooked food and then include a lot of vegetables and fruits uh, and good amount of protein you don't really need non veg itself for protein you can do veg proteins as well from the pulses and uh, peas also help they are also power pack of protein so yeah taking good care in all these ways and then uh, Uh, taking a break as in you can take a walk in between your work if you are doing a work from home so every uh, one hour you can just take a 10 minute break and then just uh, relax yourself stretch your body you know so by sitting you you might be sitting on weight so when you just take a 10 minute break you just walk and go and fetch your water bottle you fill your water bottle and stuff so these are all the ways you can just you know uh, do good exercise right uh, so you spoke about vitamin one thing i want to interrupt you for a second i want to give you a completely different topic right now are you open to it yes okay i want you to write this down alliteration do you know what alliteration is yeah do you know what it is adulteration a- alliteration it's a oh. in english literature do you know what it is yes no. no 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 okay so for example when you say vitamin c and then you said exercise So you need when you're talking about two or three multiple points you need to the if you can start with the same letter word people remember it even more all right for example vitamin c now exercise how can you say it with a v word um think about it how can you say it you can say instead of saying exercise you can say vital exercise oh got it so vitamin vital exercise what is another thing you can people can do to take good care of themselves again from b you don't think about the b you tell me the word i'll create a v for you um i was saying medication medication okay medication medication so now hard to come with a v word for medication so but, but the you know the more you can come up with that i think the previous news medi- meditate got it got it So you can instead of saying medi medi meditation you can just say um you know you need to have the right vision for the mind through meditation again you're starting with a v so vitamin c vitality which comes through cardio you said how many times a week cardio three times a week three times a week so vi- you need to have the right vitamin c you need to have the right vital exercise which is cardio at least three times a week 
and then you need a vision for the mind which comes through meditation you see that when you say the vv word that becomes your unique approach does that make sense to you sujata yes, so far yes 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 do you see see we are not changing the content we are organizing we are packaging the content in a better way make sense yes so you can now call it when you're speaking to your prospect you know your clients or anybody you're giving a speech you can say you know i follow a unique approach i follow the the vitamin the vitality and the vision for the mind framework and then you ask the person you know which one do you think is missing from your life they're going to say yeah that vision for the mind i have not been meditating also vitamin c i take because my my husband or my wife gets it but i have not been very good with my vital body i said and then you can say great i can help you with that see now you instantly differentiate because you have a framework in mind which is basically creating an alliteration with english literature just a few words you can create a triangle just like i did and every so you can if you take a you know piece of paper you can create a design you can get a graphic designer to do it for you if you want so it, this is the sujata's you know plan to help people uh, to take better care of themselves uh, vitamin vitality um you can say vision for the mind you can also use another word uh, you can say you know vibration for the mind through meditation vibration of frequency okay is that so far valuable to you yes okay so this becomes like a framework for you can you see it on the screen yes so now you create like a digital version of this uh like a graphic design and any time you speak to people you show this on a on a, on a slide you say this is how i help people and in between for each point you can have multiple things like under vitamin you can have you know point number 1 2 and 3 for example uh three three sub points under immunity system exactly exactly how to have the vitamin through uh you know the natural way lots of taking of vitamin oranges. lots yeah. of oranges you know how do you take vitamin from air and sunlight how do you take vitamin from fruits and how do you take external supplemental vitamin c three points under vitamin vitality wow. So vital now you can talk about vitality in terms of you know you can do cardio uh, you a b c if if you have this neck pain you can do this kind of cardio if you do and then you talk about three levels of exercise again 3 3 3 this becomes like a mind boggling thing for people can you see how it's becoming mind boggling even for you even though it's your product wow right yes, yes, and then yes, you say vibration yes, yes. there are three things yes. there are three ways to vi- you know vibrate for yourself Number one is meditate, and then you can say the three things: three levels of vibration. Number one, visualization. Uh, number three, meditation, and third is mindfulness. And you say, you know, these are the three things. Now you have nine points, not just three. And you tell the person, hey, which one is missing from your life? And they'll say, oh, you know, out of these nine things, seven. Would you like to keep missing, or do you want me to help you for the next three months? I can, I can, as a nutritionist, I can show you. Now, see, Sujata, you become far different than anybody who just is coming with with just a diet, diet plan and a diet chart. You say, I'm not. You tell people, by the way, that by the way, just so you know, my life partner is a is a world class nutritionist. So you know, it, it's easy for me to look at your your wow. speaking and and do this. Um. So so vitamin three things, vitality three things. vibration three things nine points you create a good presentation and now that can become a 45 minute keynote that you can approach different local organizations and you can say you know it's a tough time that we are dealing with all, all the local clubs um all the local community groups all the women's group it can be online offline you can see you know i came up came up with this f- framework um i don't want to charge you anything i i can just come in for 45 minutes i can just give a speech and if you just do this even if you're not charging anything for the talk a lot of people will come and say hey can you help me individually can you help me you know implement this plan for myself so jada what does that make sense what question do you have that i can answer for you before we wrap up oh, i actually i am really really amazed i'm feeling so happy i could not even think framing this way yeah. you have really made me i've got that clarity right. really wow right so to 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 do this kind of thing all you require is three things if you write this down you require the right level of clarity which is the word you introduced second what you require is the right way to captivate the audience once you have the just because you have this does not mean you're going to captivate now you need to learn exactly how to captivate the audience with the voice modulation with the proper storytelling and all that and the third level that you require is the right conviction conviction that what you're talking about actually makes sense i want you to understand this sujata people don't buy ideas people buy confidence okay people buy conviction 
people don't listen to what you say people don't even believe in what you say people listen to see if you believe in what you say so when you show that conviction that this is our plan that i have for people game changer that's when everything changes so so that's all any question so we, or uh, yeah so when we convey with confidence people take it that's one part but if your confidence is confusing them versus giving them clarity they will not be convinced this gives them clarity saying that i have a plan for you this is the clarity your 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 confidence gives them the ability to understand that you know you know what you're talking about in conviction that you are the right person to help them that this is the right vehicle for them okay makes sense yes shall i want Any to question? thank you yes. i really want to thank you i'm very happy i attended today's session this was just last moment i don't know how yeah. I, i think uh, it was a destiny i don't i'm really so happy i'm so amazed that i could be a part of this meeting i'm so so happy I'm a person who is very shy and who is who is very scared to speak in front of camera. I do not mm-hmm. know how many of you, how many of them are attending, but I'm so confident. You make me more confident. Thanks a lot with that. You're very welcome, and I loved helping you. I'm going to bring Srishan on the screen as well right now, uh, who was talking about. We just have five more minutes. We're going to wrap up the meeting today. But Sujata, what I what I need you to do is I want you to understand something. Okay. I can take your appreciation I can say f- feel very good and I can it it can boost my ego I can go but that's not what I want to do here is what I want you to understand the high that you're feeling right now most people once they feel the high they don't do anything about it after that because they think this oh I I got to learn great 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 I'm going to get to it later on I, what I want you to do right away in the next 5 to 10 minutes is make a plan how you're going to make this design for yourself number 1 as soon as possible in the next 24 hours number 1 number 2 how soon who are the people that you'll approach in the next 7 days a group of people and is there an individual person that contacted you or has been going through a tough challenge that you can get on a call with them don't charge and say hey i want to get on a call and i want to show you what i have so you are practicing on the phone with them and you can get some clarity for yourself and then see how that goes on because without that plan this high will go away after after a few hours and then you still don't have anything so i want you not to take this uh, in the moment as a gift but i want you to give yourself the gift to turn this gift into gold gift turn the gift into your gold so you become great ggg in another situation there for you okay awesome awesome thanks welcome. a lot thanks a lot very welcome awesome srishan let's talk to you can you turn on the video tell us talk to us what you do and where do you where are you joining from okay uh, thank you very much uh, dear vishal sarkar yes. i am a fa- fan of you this uh, I, i am very lucky to see you personally and talk to you i am very grateful for that and thank you very much Okay my my name is Rishan Tail I am from Kerala uh, I have been basically I have been a teacher I have been teaching in seven countries uh, Cambridge University affiliated centers in different parts yeah. of the world yeah. I am teaching the business studies and uh, marketing uh, and uh, human resource management different subjects almost 25 years I am working in Dubai Bahrain and Saudi I have been mm-hmm. teaching students they are from royal families also Bahrain and Saudi Arabia I am very happy yeah. to tell you as an Indian teaching Arabs it is not easy. Sure. Anyhow, thank you very much and I am staying now in in, in Kerala. Uh, mm-hmm. uh the place is Kerala, God sound country we call it. Yeah. It is one of the beautiful place and I visit Siliguri. I am lucky <laughs> before my brother my sister was in Siliguri in a Tata's uh, my Uh, uh, uh my sister's uh, husband was an engineer there i visit siliguri and you know bhutan also that is uh, almost 15 years back mm. so i nice to come and see you personally one day there <laughs> yeah I, I, yeah i travel a lot that's my hometown for sure yeah it's we we beautiful, operate in beautiful from... place beautiful place and there is a military military uh, there military people there my uncle was a military man i came near to that place military Very nice mm-hmm. MES good to know. Well. Good to know, Srishan. So here's a question: What's your What's your biggest challenge when it comes to you know presentation? What What brought you to this call right now? Yeah, yeah. Because I am I am uh, basically I am a teacher, and I I have a passion to become a trainer. Uh, that was mm-hmm. my passion. That's why I want to change the life of people, at least one uh, million life of people, because you know most of the people have no goals. 
there is no financial security so right. i want to change them and make them the great people because after 50 years old most of the people are suffering they don't have money they want to depend upon others so i want to make an awareness in youth that is the basic thing i want to do nice what's your biggest uh, challenge that you're facing when it comes to creating that awareness in the in the youth yeah the awareness in the youth uh, basically is public speaking itself because uh, you know as okay. a public, public, yeah. I, i'm i'm can i can i ask you for some help yeah please i'm not understanding the problem so fill in the sentence for me big bishal my biggest obstacle is say it that way uh, my uh, biggest uh, obstacle now is um, let us say finance finance is the big trouble your finance one basic uh, basic thing because i want to market myself and brand myself uh, that is what i am facing a small financial problem uh, that is the basic thing secondly uh, public speaking is uh, not fun it is something very serious so i want to, i want to persuade people the way how you persuade people i want to persuade people so i feel little difficulty in that persuading okay. persuading people that's why i need your help all right so one thing you said is fine so finance in terms of overall life in career or finance in in turning this passion into profession which which finance yeah, uh, the, the last one sir turning this uh, profession into a uh, passion into profession okay good so uh, that's a question beyond public speaking but i think i i think what you can do first of all to start with is uh, you need always remember you want to fish with a net not with a hook so once you fish with a hook one fish comes when you fish with a net a lot of fish come meaning you need to be around in the right groups where there are a lot of people not just individual if you think from your perspective i want the students to come to me no you go where the students are so where are the students right now the students are in the colleges in the universities you need to position yourself as a guest lecturer in one of those engineering colleges in one of those management colleges and you go there as a guest faculty so that people can experience you as a speaker are you getting what i'm talking about yes sir so instead of you pursuing them you chasing them you choose the right people because after your speech some students come and say hey would love to hear more you say great uh, why don't we you know i'm i'm doing a workshop just for you guys it's called the truth with the youth i tell the youth the truth so they can have the the transformation so the, the, you know something like that truth with the youth so that's that's that sounds you know catchy and and then you can say you know you know what i'm going to show you there is that you know the the 3f formula so see sujata so what i'm going to do now with him i'm going to show the students the 3f first of all um how to have the right focus so you can say hey i'm going to show you students how to have the right focus number 2 um are you crying no 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 okay no. It's like my speech is making people I, cry I, like what I, I, i am happy to see you okay because of happiness i am crying don't, don't okay do okay now I was like, man, I'm talking about the focus, and no, that's right. okay. I appreciate that. I receive that. Focus. You can talk about uh, the the field and the finance. I show you how to have the right focus for the youth, the right focus. How to master in your, become a master in your field, in your in your career field, and so that you can have the right finance. The you know you can you can do the three things and now you can have a workshop around it that's the general general thing you can do to do that in terms of public speaking you said i like to persuade people right the formula i want you to write down is w i i f m do you have a pen and paper handy yes sir okay w i i f m do you know what that means i don't know good what's in it for me okay So any time you talk to people you don't talk about your experience you talk about what you can do for them what's in it for me okay yeah what's in it for me what's in it for me what's in it for me so you talk about what's in it for not you for the audience audience is thinking what's in it for me when you start talking about i have this experience i have this this is amazing i love that i, I can receive that but the audience is thinking how does that relate to me how does that relate to me if sujata is speaking i have this degree in, in, in nutrition here is what i've studied audience is thinking but what about my disease like how does that relate to me you talk about the people you focus more on the people and um 
here's my question what's your story in in short not your experience like why did you decide to focus on the youth what what made you uh, interested yeah. about them Srishan? because, because uh, dear Vishal, I, I have been teaching uh, thousands of students different parts of the world and what i notice most of them have no goals at all almost 90 percent of students don't have a right goal mm -hmm. so can i stop you for a second to coach yes. you yes please when you were in your 20s yeah can you think of a time when you did not have a goal yeah in teenage i also don't have that type of goal i have no mentors i have no coaches i have nobody to guide me that is what you need to talk about more than what you your your professional experience guys my name is Rishan. i have taught here 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 but let me tell you when i was 22 year old i did not have goals i did not have mentors and i did not have a direction how many of you here don't have these three things great because in the next 45 minutes i'm going to show you how to clarify your goal how to find the right mentor and how to get some clarity on your direction that's what connects them to you talk about if you want to impress people talk about your success if you want to impact people talk about your failures okay your story gives you that glory your story about where you were instead of talking about all the great things all the great things is good people people listen to that but you want to talk more about more about oh, that's good people um, talk more about I want to have a photo with you sir is sure. it okay is it okay Yes, sure. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good. I want you to focus now here. Oh, okay. So, so goals. Yeah. Mentors and direction. Okay. So you teach people about that. Uh, and, and that can, so, so I want you to come up with, um, after the call, once you're done seeing the photos that you've taken, can what I, I want you to, can what I, I want, mm -hmm. uh, means uh, I want to, uh, I want to start with uh, my own, my own experience, right? Because I mm -hmm. don't have a goal. I don't have a direction. Like you did not I have a goal, start. yes. Instead yeah. of proceeding them, I want to tell my story, isn't it, sir? But Before, uh, how can you tell my story? Can you give us some clues? How, how Because it is a great, uh, I think, difficult for uh, telling a story. What is the hindrances in uh, telling a story? Any ideas we can give, get, sir? How do you know it's a hindrance? You have not tried. How do you know then? I usually I am telling like uh, school teachers stories about uh, some uh, some stories, but uh, our own storytelling there are certain uh, limitations. I think. What is the limitation? Uh, because uh, you know uh, it's not coming in a proper way. The 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 miseries and uh, the sufferings and uh, you know our uh, what we suffer. Mm -hmm. These things we are explaining. There is no emotions are coming. Close your eyes. Don't open until I tell you. Do you trust me? Yes, of course. Do not open until I tell you. No matter what happens, do not open your eyes until I tell you. T talk to me about a time when you felt very lonely in your 20s or 30s. Can you think about a time? Yes. Just say yes when you think about a time like that. Yeah, yeah. I, there was a time I am very lonely and sad. Where, because... where, where, where were you? Which part yeah, of the I, world? I, 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 I passed my BCom and uh, my wish was to become a teacher and uh, uh, but that time in kerala in uh, any of the universities like we have kerala university we have calicut university uh, there is no scope for beard students they can't take a, a bachelor of education degree so i was so sad my passion was to become a teacher but uh, i told all of my friends uh, what is your dream somebody asked i always tell them uh, that my dream is to become a teacher and they laugh at me they make fun of me they say this is not possible because uh, no no university will take a become graduate for teaching but uh, tell you the truth i can you tell me one or two of the names first names of the friends who laughed at you friends what sir yeah just some of the names of the friends who laughed at you when it when you shared your dream about being a teacher yeah yeah there is one uh, friend called suresh mm. and there is one uh, called aziz aziz is name aziz was there a friend who inspired you said you can do it yeah yeah other? yeah yeah there is name, one, fr name? one friend uh, his name is uh, falgun 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 yeah. okay he told me you can do it uh, you can right. do it. 
yeah opinion and uh, he, 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 he sir i after my beard i went uh, went to bahrain there is a yes. there is a middle east country and mm. i work as an accountant almost 5 years mm. it's a very surprising story when after 5 years i came back uh, to kerala then uh, in the market one day i am going for uh, buying fish uh, somebody was calling me behind is uh, mm. and when i look at uh, he was my old friend and which I, old friend old friend falgun old friend mm. Something. and uh, he told me he told me he, I, i ask you what are you doing now then he told me i am in shillong you know you heard about shillong meghalaya that is a uh, near assam i think uh, meghalaya uh, that is we call it second scotland one of the beautiful place in india it is a snowy place meghalaya so he say i am working as a teacher there i am surprised and i ask him how you got an admission then he told me uh, that uh, become people can do bed in shillong then he told me uh, do you want to come and uh, and i will help you then i ask him how it, how is it possible then he say you just to do an entrance test i know the principal very well you please come we will see then uh, i came on leave from middle east and i went with him surprisingly i got i got uh, i do my test i got admission and uh, i got for beard i resigned my job from uh, from india uh, i don't go back to middle east so tell you the truth i become a teacher and uh, in st pauls i work as a teacher in shillong then i came back and i am able to get a job in government service then surprisingly i do my beard and after be- doing beard i do my mba and i got a position in dubai as a teacher and i am able to work uh, there in cambridge university affiliated centers as a teacher then i am able to go almost seven countries and now i am very very really proud that uh, I, it was my passion really yeah that's why i got i am in that position what i dream mm. and i think the law of attraction work for me really i mm. i don't know anything about law of attraction recently i know that but mm. it it happened true in my life Mm. Good. So, now let me tell you about the law of story. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Yes. So, how to tell the story that you said? You feeling good with sharing this? Yes, sir. I am really, really. You have a, you have a lot to share, right? You have a lot in your heart to share, a lot of experiences to share. So, so now I become Sri Shan. How do you say? Thayil. 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 Yeah. Thayil. Okay. Uh, and your current profession is? You said you you teach where in Dubai? Uh, I I am actually. Uh, teaching also in some private uh, colleges and uh, I, ha- i am doing a business also or uh, it's a, it's a D- yeah j- just tell me, tell me that teaching part what do you yeah, do yeah uh, for uh, business students uh, become students i am teaching Where? Uh, in in our uh, district uh, kanur that that's your full time thing or part no no it's a part time it's a okay. private college got it clear so now i become sri shanthail and see how i tell that story that you said and you can uh, just rehearse like this i remember when i uh, so w- when you finished bcom and you're you know, looking for that scope be it how old were you at that time 21 22 i think yeah almost like that so let's say you get invited to speak so jada are you are you enjoying so far are you getting are you understanding what's what's going on here with the story you're muted yeah i'm waiting how will you start that How yeah. you do that? Yeah. I'm not going to add anything. I'm just going to tell everything he said in a in a way that is that properly sequentially. Um <clears throat> let's say you are giving a speech. I want you to think about the situation that in let's say in some college where the youth your ideal people are there. And you start this instead of talking about all the big achievements, this is the mistake many people do, you know, talking about all the great things that they have done. You just say, you know, I have done some decent amount of things but I want to just talk to you guys because there was one time in life I felt very lonely. And I remember I was 22 year old and at that time I was um I wanted to I finished my BCom, I wanted to become a teacher and I did not have two things. I had no hope and I had no scope. I had no hope because I did not know what was ahead of me. I did not have scope because there was no B Ed at that time in the area. You know, I was studying, and I shared m- with my friends. I remember I shared my dream with Suresh and Aziz, and I remember that time when Suresh and Aziz laughed at me, and I came back home that day feeling much more lonely. 
I was the lonely one because I felt like the only one who wanted to do the BA. And I remember I coming back home and and feeling lonely, did not have any direction at all. But at that time, one of my friends, Falgun, also inspired me. He said, he said, Srishan, if you focus, one day you can do BA and you can absolutely achieve. But I thought, you know, I I can't do it. So I I went to the the Middle East. I started working, and one day I came back to my came back to Kerala, and I I was going there to buy a fish, and something fishy happened. Falgun was there in the marketplace, and I said, Falgun, good to see you after so much time, so so long time. And Falgun said, Well, Srishan, now I work as a teacher in Shillong. I said, How 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 did you do it? And he said, Well. After BCom, I did my BTEC because now in Shillong you can you can actually do the B, the the B end, not the BTEC, B end. I said, can I do it too? And Falgun said, not only I'll help you because I know the people there. Why don't you take the step, and and do it? And I came back home, and again I felt lonely because I was thinking about my family. What if I leave my job in 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 Middle East countries? Who's gonna support my family? I wanna I wanna pursue my passion, guys. All of you right now here, all the two hundred students here right now. you will face a situation like this where you are pulled by the collar by your profession and also pulled by your passion one hand you have to cut and you got to decide which one that day i decided to resign from my job and pursue my passion i did my ba very soon i took a job in in st paul's in shillong i did my ba i did my mba and now uh, apart from being a teacher in dubai i also teach business students in kannur and apart from running a business i can proudly say that i've turned my passion into my profession i've learned how to do the three things i've learned how to magnetize mesmerize and monetize and if i a small town person srishan can do that all of you do that but the difference is not about ba it's about finding the right people to listen to my question is who are the sureshes and the azizes of your life who are demotivating you all the time instead of hanging out with the sureshes and the azizes find the falguns of your life people who challenge you people who inspire you but also they walk the path that you want to walk they don't give you dialogues they give you direction they don't demotivate you they love you and they lead the path find the right falguns and what i want to say right now is find the right falguns in your life so that you can grow you don't have to be a teacher maybe you can be a computer scientist you can be a nutritionist you can be the thing that is meant for you the message that you're born to share you can do that so that and blah blah blah, blah and you go on now now srishan can you see the power of that story which is your story not mine can you see that power of it yeah and you I, i hope you understand you're clapping for yourself not for me you're <laughs> clapping for your story not me i'm just telling your story in a way just to show you uh-huh. holding a mirror and telling you what is possible this is your story that you have not told so far when you're going to start telling it yeah yeah it's a it's a the different way you present sir so yeah. you, I, i don't have that skill I, i don't have that skill i understand that you got it you don't have the skill because you haven't ah! bless you this is falgun is remembering you that's why you're you're sneezing okay uh so make it a priority get in the program when we we open it next uh, otherwise you, you know skill is not going to come to you only when you practice and do it the right way it's going to come make sense to you srishan yeah thank you sir thank you very much you're, you're welcome uh jagdish good to see you i can see your message shraddha how was the call for you i'm going to end the call in literally 2 minutes from now um what was your biggest takeaway in today's conversation if you make it answer it in less than 30 seconds srishan that would be awesome yeah sure So, what was your biggest takeaway so far? And I'm going to ask. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Because uh, I see the way how I can plan uh, a, a speech, and mm-hmm. uh, you know uh, how I prepare. Uh, uh, actually, I am very confused about uh, how to tell a story. But I have a lot of stories. I, I now I realize I have a lot of stories. And but the way I don't know how to present the stories now. Uh, now from your guidance, I got which way I can present the stories. So that is the right. biggest takeaway I got. Very and nice. how how story affect people? Uh, when I am a child, my mother was telling stories. Even now I remember when I ca- coming from vacation from the Middle East. My son was five years, and he always asked me, "Tell me a story. Tell me a story." So he was enjoying that. but uh, now i know uh, vishal sir is able to uh, i heard uh, you are a king of confidence so <laughs> i am always telling to other people 
that there is a person in bangalore like a king of confidence i want to meet him yeah. one day but i am lucky to meet you today but i want to meet you one day personally also sure i appreciate that thank you shraddha what was your biggest takeaway in today's uh, conversation here Oh, what a nice session! Thank you so much, Miss. Um, Miss, all of a sudden, I just uh, saw this in my mail, and I just um, uh, enter into this. And I was returning from my office, and uh, on the way only, I just get into it, and I'm so happy, Miss. What to say? You are always be my um, mentor, and I'm a fan of yours. You know that. But um, uh, today's two speakers were very nice. I'm. I'm I would say that now, it was a nice session. got to learn many thing thank you a lot of glitch with with zoom today is she still speak shraddha okay shraddha can you hear me yeah 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 i'm, sure. I'm very sorry i'm very sorry i couldn't hear for the last 15 seconds i'm back now uh, there's a little uh, so you said uh, you liked it what else did you say can you just repeat quickly for me <laughs> I say that um, means listening to your version was means wonderful as usual. But uh, two of the speakers also uh, tried their best, and I was enjoying their way and how they were interacting and how they were uh, means participating. It's very very means uh, means uh, means liked by me because they are really connecting all through the session and um, really appreciate and I enjoyed. I hope one day also I will be a part and share my story. Sure. Thank you. Yeah by the way Shraddha has a very beautiful story you know we were just discussing Shraddha is a friend of mine just to so understand so we we met recently and uh, she was telling me about everything that she has been and just just Shraddha you know everything that you have been through in your life you know creating the house on your own not having the family support you know coming to a different city and just starting your career on your own then then buying a land and creating all the house and do it very fast and then supporting your family financially and you know the way you're taking you know you you lost your father this year how you're taking care of your mother and how you're being an inspiration to other people how you're connecting with your friends in your office this is inspiring people need to hear that story too so your story matters right thank you thank you i'm honored i'm honored and I, I, you made so difference means thank you means vishal i made very recently but i am connecting with you for a, for a long time i am following you silently and you matter so beautifully to the human being and you stick on our mind and you remain there so thank you i received that keep keep motivating that. us sujata what was your biggest takeaway and we end the call here vishal thanks a lot i am feeling very confident i am feeling i will be able to you know be a nutritionist and uh, be able to you know grab uh, grab more clients after speaking to you yes. especially uh, see when you made that uh, pyramid concept wherein you made the three v's and told how you should be uh, right. approaching people that was excellent and also you told just just not leave it here whatever you feel right now you have to finish the next uh, properly or figure that out yes. in 24 hours and then yeah that part was excellent and then you are speaking about the hey, you Hello? No, no. You, go on, please. When you're talking about success, you'll be interesting. But you, when you want to reach out to people, you have to make an impact by speaking about your failure. See, for mm-hmm. me, yes. When Sri Santosh was talking about uh, whatever yeah. he was explaining about his career, it was so different. When you made the same story, it was like wow. I was able to feel okay. This is how I'll be doing my future uh, right. speaking. Because right. see, I'm also starting late in my life. Mm-hmm. So this was like really wow wow moment for me and yeah. really really very thankful to you very welcome uh-